It turns out that my theory was right all along thanks to the latest episode of Agatha all along. Spoilers for the show ahead because there's crazy reveals in this so come back after having watched it. But before I get to why I was correct, we need to talk about Lilia since this episode primarily focuses on her and all the crazy things she's been saying in the previous episodes. This whole episode is very reminiscent of the episode in Loki where he keeps time slipping until he learns to control it. Similarly we find out that Lilia lives her life non-linearly or non linearly She keeps jumping from one point of her life to another point and it's quite literally subtle foreshadowing happening in real life to her but we just never clocked it. And then she realizes that she must sacrifice herself at the end of the episode to save Agatha and the others. We also find out the full name of Teen is Teenager which was quite funny I can't lie I genuinely laughed seeing that. We also see that they are dressed as witches from various points in pop culture. It seems mainly to annoy Lilia since she hates how pop culture has ruined witches. Also seeing Billy having an identity crisis the whole time was actually quite sad. But the big reveal that proves my theory was right all along is that Rio Vidal is in fact Death, the original green witch. Now everyone pretty much knew this but the reveal was still well placed because in the next scene Lilia falls or flies to her death depending on how you orient the room. She also takes out the Salem 7 with her protecting Agatha and the rest of the coven for the rest of the witch's road. Meaning that death is now the main threat of the show for the next two episodes. Now everyone before the show's release said that this is the best episode of the show so far and I will be honest I didn't think so. Personally I didn't feel the emotional connect of this episode mainly because I kinda didn't care about Lydia's character in all of this so her dying didn't really hit me in the feels. A lot like when Alice died I also didn't care. But don't get me wrong it is very emotional and all because that ending where we see her go back to her younger self did kind of strike me but it wasn't like an emotional strike more of an existential crisis strike. Besides that the rest of the episode was actually kind of cool. Seeing this time jumping storyline is something that I quite enjoyed in Loki and this show does it really well as well. The reveal of death was just so cold, much like death in Puss in Boots. And I'm really looking forward to her to face off against Agatha. But if they somehow kill death, I swear to God, I will throw my screen out the window. But overall, this episode is a 7.5 out of 10. Like it's a good episode, but I still prefer the last two episodes over this. However, do comment below your thoughts and subscribe whilst you're there.